this is Pastor Andrew here with the Greater River Church. We are so thankful to God for yet another opportunity to come to you to lift up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and to bring a message of hope unto you in your room, in your bedroom, in your living room, wherever you are. The Word of God is powerful. It has enough power to reach you, to touch you, uh, to heal you, to restore you, and make you what God really wants you to be. So today we, we have, you know, we have a, a wonderful word from the Lord as always, and we are so excited to bring it unto you. We want to welcome all our friends from uh, here in America and from all over the world. Thank you so much for reaching out to us. How the message, how, how the ministry is blessing you, and we are so thankful to God because more is coming, greater is coming. This is the year the Lord told us that we are going to possess the land, and indeed. We have seen this and we are going to continue seeing many hearts coming to God. The message of the gospel more than ever before is going into every uh, into every household, into, uh, you know, hearts are being changed, you know, lives are being changed for God. So to him, we give all the glory. So this morning, I want to share a message that the Lord gave to me and it is his word against them all. His word against against them all you see we are living in uh you know uh the days that we're living in we all know wherever you are whether you're in uh, china whether you're in uh, europe whether you're in uh, south america we're all living in uncertain times and uh, there is so much darkness so much gloom so much negativity and that uh, these voices you know when when the more you open up your ears the more you you know when you turn on your television when you tune into the radio you know every analyst everybody's communicating uh gloom uh, communicating doom communicating all the negativity but the word of god is the only source right now that we can rely on that is still consistent as uh, speaking good speaking positivity speaking hope and that is what we need in times like this and even if uh we weren't in a coronavirus situation or you know people dying and you know people getting sick even if it was just the normal that we were used to you know the word of god should be the standard by which we live and run our lives because the word of god is consistent the word of god is true the word of god always does what it says and the word of god is god himself and so we're so thankful uh, that God has given us his word and he has made it available to us and so even when the storms of life are raging even when life is so crazy we have a hope we have an anchor we have a place to go we have a place to hide the scripture says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous run into it and they are saved so we thank God for his word and you know even everything is overturned and you know everybody doesn't have solutions we have the solution and it is in the word of god amen so we're going to open our bibles today in the book of psalm psalm we're going to read 119 psalm 119 we're going to start from verse 27 psalm 119 from verse 27 and if you're there just say amen or click on a like or you know uh, wave or something uh, if you're there psalm 119 verse 27 and we're going to read all the way to verse 130 all right uh, i guess you're there now so therefore i love your commandments or in other words i love your word more than gold yes than fine gold or more than money you know more than anything precious more than gold yes than fine gold verse 128 therefore all your precepts concerning all things not some things but concerning all things i consider to be right i hate every false way you know we're living in times when there is so much falsehood like i said last sunday people are uh, talking about false ruptures uh, you know, false prophets rising up. I posted about that this week. We have to be very, very careful. He says, your commandments, I consider them uh, to be right. I hate every false way. Verse 29, 129. Your testimonies are wonderful. Therefore, my soul keeps them. 
your promises, your testimonies are wonderful. Therefore, my soul keeps them. What are you keeping in this time? What are you storing in your heart? You need to store the word of God. You need to store the promises of God, the testimonies of what God has done for you, what God has said is going to do for you. That is what you need to store in your heart because when you store that in your heart, your heart is going to be full and what is going to come out is going to be exactly what you put inside. Amen. Listen to this. Verse 130. The entrance of your words or the entrance of your word, uh, another version says, gives light. It gives understanding to the simple brothers and sisters we're living in times where we need understanding we live in a time where we need light there is so much darkness right now there is so much darkness in our world there is so much darkness in people's hearts you know we just watched a, a video not so long ago of this young man who was killed while he was jogging you know during broad daylight that is darkness in people's hearts where they, you know, they just choose to take people's lives. You know, I was just reading about, uh, you know, uh, domestic violence and, you know, so much stuff going on in our communities. Even right now, people are filled with darkness, but it is the word of God that brings light. It is the word of God that is going to be able to diffuse all the all the attacks of the enemy and so you and i need to be filled with the word of god we need to feed on the word of god we need to surround ourselves with the word of god with the things of god in order to overcome in this world amen and as i'm still on that i'm i just i just want to jump on to revelation chapter 12 verse 11 and uh, we're going to dwell there for a little bit as well Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And Revelation is the last book in the Bible, uh, if you don't know. And uh, we're going to read from verse uh, chapter 12, verse 11. All right? Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. This is what it says. Verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives to the death. They overcame him who? The devil, the enemy, who whispers, uh, you know, all these lies uh, to you, against you. You know, uh, when you read this uh, this chapter here, he's, he's referred to as the, uh, the accuser of the brethren, who is accusing us before God day and night. But how do we overcome him we overcome him by uh by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimonies so brothers and sisters today what is your testimony what are you using to combat against the lies of the enemy and uh, like i said the topic today is his word against them all brothers and sisters once again we are living in a world we are living in a world and in the world that we're living in as children of god we are living in a spiritual war each and every day the apostle paul says that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers of darkness and when he says we wrestle it is not you know just past tense it is present Every morning you wake up, you got to put on the full armor of God. You got to put on the sword of the spirit. You got to put on the helmet of salvation. You got to put on the best uh, the breastplate. You got to have the word of God ready to fight because the enemy, he's, you know, he goes around like a roaring lion looking for whom to devour. He is busy, but we are stronger because greater is he who is in us than the one in the world. We are stronger, we are victorious, we are powerful. And so his word should be our weapon. His word should be, you know, our medicine. His word should be our artillery against the enemy because he is busy. 
He is working. He thinks he's winning, but he is a liar. He doesn't know because we have all the promises and we know how everything is going to end. We're going to end up victorious. Amen. And whatever you might be going through today, it is just a test. Whatever you might be fighting or fighting against you, it is just testing you. It is fighting, but it is testing you. Why? Because you already have the victory. And so what the enemy does is just trying to challenge you. But you need to be wise enough. You need to be strong enough. You need to realize that you have the victory. And so if you know you have the victory, you are going to move with confidence. When the enemy throws you know, uh, situations in your face, you're going to laugh them off and say, I'm a victor. I am a winner. I am victorious. God who is in me is greater. He is uh, the mighty warrior. Therefore, I will not be afraid. Amen. And so his word against them all. So the question I have for you today, what is coming against you? What is coming against you? Are you watching CNN? Are you watching, uh, I listen to, uh, you know, to the news channels, the finance channels, and they, uh, they're talking about how the recovery is going to take so long. They are predicting it's going to be probably in 20, 20, uh, uh, 2022, you know, when everything is going to come back around. But we, as the children of God, we say that we shall not lack. Amen. We are going to eat because our father owns the cattle on a thousand hills. We shall not be late on our bills. We shall not be foreclosed. We won't be kicked out of our houses. Our lights won't be turned off. Why? Because that is what our God says, that he shall provide all our needs. He shall meet all our needs according to his riches in glory. Amen. So as you're going through that situation right now, all the kids are looking up to you. You know, um, probably you're on to your last meal. Maybe you're looking at that bank account and it's going into the red. I want you to know that our God is Jehovah Jireh. He is the provider. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He who watches over Israel shall not uh, shall not neither sleeps nor slumber. So you have a promise. It is His word against them all. Because your word, your situation might said something else, but His word, His word is what is setting everything apart. So you need to listen to the word of God. You need to listen to His truth. Because there was so much darkness. There were so many lies out there. But his word is going to bring light. That's what the scripture told us here. In Psalm 119 and verse, uh, uh, in verse 130 says, The entrance of your words, the entrance of your words, or the entrance of your word, when the word of God enters us, it says, it gives light. Are you having darkness in your heart today? Are you having, you know, uh, you don't know what's going to happen. Everything, your vision is blurred. You cannot see beyond today. The word of God, when you invite it into your heart, into your mind, into your situation, it is going to bring light. You're going to see the world the way I'm seeing it because I am seeing it through the lens of the word of God. God says you shall live and not die and you will live to proclaim the goodness of the Lord. You shall have houses you did not build. You shall possess the land. That is what God is saying. So the entrance of his word gives light. So today, do you need light? Do you need light in your life? Are you feeling there is a darkness, you know, covering you? Do you feel like you want to take your life? Do you feel like you're tired of it all? I was, uh, you know, listening to, uh, you know, testimonies and prayers and people saying, you know, pastor, things are so tough. Things are so dark. Today, my brothers and sisters, I want to give you the good news that the entrance of the word of God is going to give you light. Whatever is dark in your life, God is able to show you your future. He says that I have a plan for you to make you prosperous, to give you a good future. Go read Jeremiah 29, 11. God has a plan for you. It is not over yet. This is not the end. God still has a plan and a purpose for you. And as long as you stay in him, as long as you stay in his word, you are going to see these promises alive and working in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Let's read just one more verse. It says, uh, 131, it gives understanding to the simple. Your word gives understanding to the simple. Another version says it gives understanding to the inexperienced. You might say, you know, these things are so difficult for me to understand. When I read the word of God, I don't understand it. The word of God is going to give you understanding. Uh, when you invite uh, the Holy Spirit, Jesus said that, I will not leave you as offerings, but I will send you a comforter and he shall remind you of all truth. Amen. And so the Holy Spirit is for us. God has sent him to us to explain, to remind us, to teach us. Whatever seems difficult, say, God, you say that you give understanding to those who don't know, to those who are simple in mind. You know, all of us, we, it's so complicated, but the, uh, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, when we invite him, he's going to make everything simple. He's going to make everything uh, easy. He's going to make everything make sense, and you are going to be able to live victoriously in these dark times. Hallelujah. Amen. I hope this message blessed you, my friends. And uh, make sure you commu uh, you connect with us on all social media. At AP Kizito and our church handles at Greta River. We are so thankful to God for, uh, you know, this opportunity that we can still meet. Uh, I understand that uh, they extended uh, the dates for us to open up in the state of Massachusetts, but we're going to still, you know, share the word. We're going to still come on here and speak the word of God, whether we're in a building, whether we're in the kitchen like I am in today, we are going to proclaim the gospel. Amen. And so some announcements I have, we are getting ready for the outreach for the summer. The summer is an awesome time in uh, to reach out uh, with the good news to share with people the love of God and uh, we uh, we know we're gonna go out in schools we're gonna go out you know uh, in the parks uh, we did that last summer and then we're gonna do it this summer as well we're gonna reach out we're gonna do worship events we're gonna you know show the love of God to people we're gonna let people know that God is still on the throne and so uh, we want to ask you to partner with us as we share and bring the gospel unto the people who need it. Amen. People need it. People, uh, uh, people are, are, you know, are hopeless. People need the word of God. And so whether it is the spoken word, whether it's through actions, and like I've been talking about how we want to be able to continue uh, supporting families, you want to sponsor a family, and you want to be a part of that, uh, you know, uh, some members in our church, they said they're going to help with that. And uh, we've been doing that as a family as well. And uh, so if you want to partner with us, you know, there's going to be a number on your screen. Uh, as a matter of fact, we have uh, a number where you can just type in the number, send it. Uh, the number is going to be on your screen and uh, you're going to be able to give via text messaging. So you don't have to go on the website or anything. But we have the website, uh, you know, coming up as well. It's going to be live in a few days. And also you can uh, give through PayPal, paypal.me uh, slash Greta River, and also through Cash App Greta River. Let's be a blessing. We're blessing people are back home in Uganda and want to be able to bless people even in other countries uh, where they are hurting and they need our help. Amen. So we th want to thank God so much for you. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Continue sharing this message. Let people know that God is alive. The word of God he is here to give us light so don't be in darkness because the lord is our light he is our salvation therefore we will not be moved we will not be shaken all right i'll see you next time right here same place god bless you stay strong in the light of the lord